All right, so all of you guys that play Vanguard, let me know in the comment section down below if Subpens is a good map or a bad map. Personally, I think Subpens sucks. Every time I play it, I do terrible. But for some reason, I decided to play Free For All for the first time in Vanguard and came across playing Subpens. And to my surprise, Free For All plays actually really, really well on Subpens. After playing Subpens, I actually got another Free For All win on Radar. So that's kind of a bonus gameplay I'll throw in at the end. But here we go, sniping only on Subpens. Check this out. Oh, free fall on this map. Wait, is this just a... Uh, is this a good spot to spawn trap, maybe? Might be. Right, we're catching up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it was at 10 when I joined in. Oh shoot! Dang it! Ooh! If I don't hit a 360 at end of the game, at least I hit that. Uh. <clears throat> Is this guy? Come on. I knew it. Come on. Dropping you in at your insertion. Uh that's great. How did that not hit? <laughs> what? That was the weirdest freaking throwing knife ever. Okay, dude. He's in here. There he is. Where am I at? 27? Alright, getting close to... 28 29 <laughs> That was terrible. All right, here we go. I got to I got to go for something quick. <clears throat> uh <laughs> Okay, I had to do it. I really didn't want to lose someone is that fast. Don't let your coworkers or whatever. The, we're, 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 we're not reacting to those cues. We're creating our own. We're making it obvious. We're creating the positive cues that trigger the behavior that you want. And here's a promise to you, what I want you to know. Is making your desired action obvious. It will be the difference between good intentions and great results. Let me say it again. If you make it obvious, this is what I do. This is, it's very easy. Making it obvious will be the difference between good intentions and great results. In other words, if you want to eat right, get rid of the wrong temptation and stock your kitchen or stock your office with what you do want to eat, make it obvious. If you want to grow in your leadership and you're always scrolling on Instagram, hide the Instagram app on your phone and make your podcast app visible and listen to one leadership podcast instead of wasting time on, on, on social media. Here's the goal. Our goal is to make it harder to do what we don't want to do. We want to make it easier to do what we want to do. So to grow in your leadership, we're going to create the uh, right one habit that helps create the desired identity. What's got to be Small number one, make it obvious number two, and number three, make it automatic.
automatic, make it automatic. Here, here's where the magic happens. If you've never thought about it, your life in so many different ways, it's on autopilot, it's, it's almost scary. For example, uh, when you woke up on the last work day, what did you do? The last work day. And the answer probably is similar to what you did the day before. For example, my mornings, they're almost exactly the same. <laughs> when I get up every day on a work day, I get up, make my oatmeal, I put my berries in it, I do my devotion, I pray with Amy, I get my bags that were packed the night before, I drive to work the same exact way, and when I get to the office, I realize I don't even remember driving to work because I was on autopilot all the way there. What do you typically do? You do something very similar to what you did before. And here's the problem. Without intentionality, what's automatic is rarely what's most productive. Why? Because we don't drift toward what is healthy, we drift toward what is easy. What we wanna do is we don't wanna drift toward what is easy, we're gonna create the systems, we're gonna make it automatic that move toward what is healthy because excellence is never an accident. Excellence is always a result of intentional and consistent habit. So it's just laying down right let's there. make it automatic. We're gonna review. You've named the habit that you wanna start, whatever it is. This year I'm gonna start and you know what it is. Based on the type of leader you wanna become, this is what you're going to do. You're gonna start small, you're gonna make it easy, and you're gonna make it automatic. I can't believe I'm about to win this How do you make it automatic? Podcast. You're not just gonna decide what you want to do to grow in your leadership, but you're gonna define exactly when you are going to do it. And here's the key. You're gonna create a statement and you're gonna live up to the statement that goes something like this. After I blank, I will do blank. After I do this one thing, then I'm going to do my new leadership habit. After I do this, then I'm gonna do this and you're gonna make it automatic. So you wanna read one Bible verse a day. That's your small habit. So you say, after I make coffee, then I read one Bible verse. Or you may say this, after I finish a meeting at the office, I'm gonna define one action step after that meeting. So there's always an action step. You don't just waste your time in a meeting, there's production on the other side. Or you may say, um, after I arrive in the office, I'm writing my three priorities down. That's what I'm gonna do. The moment after I get to my desk, I sit down and I write my three priorities for the day. Or you may say, after I put the kids to bed, I do a 30 second plank. Kids go down, 30 second plank. After I brush my teeth, I journal one sentence. I'm gonna journal something. And again, you're going, why are we starting so small? Remember, your habits determine who you become as a leader. And I love what James Clear teaches. He teaches that each action is a vote toward your identity. I want you to think about this. Each time you do anything at all, you're voting toward the type of person that you're going to become. In other words, like if you hit snooze on the alarm, you're voting, oh, I'm an undisciplined person. But if you get up when the alarm sounds, you're voting, hey, I'm a disciplined person. Any positive action is a positive vote toward you becoming the leader that you want to become. So if you want to journal daily, when you write one sentence, oh, I, over, I was overthinking it, dude. Terms, then the good news is an object in motion tends to stay in motion. If you write one sentence every day, it won't be long before you're writing two sentences and then a paragraph and then a page. You've been voting toward your identity. If you exercise for two minutes, <laughs> what you're doing is you're voting, I'm a healthy person. If you exercise for two minutes, it won't be long before you're exercising for 20 minutes. And guess what? Oh my God, you may have just found a keystone habit that unintentionally brings other positive benefits. Since you're a person that works out for 20 minutes, maybe you start eating better. Why? Because you've been voting that you're a person that takes care of your body. Here's what I want to tell you. Never underestimate how you can start something big through one small habit. One small habit. It's the small things that no one sees that brings the big results everyone wants. And what I want to say to you is this. Dang. There's more in you. And there's more where that came from. On twitch.tv slash spunzy, I'm live every night except Sunday night. And if you guys enjoy that gameplay, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new here. Any support is much appreciated. Other than that, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Again, go try free for all on Vanguard. It's a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.